Greetings. Welcome to another episode of Jeff Coed Storybook Adventures. I am Dr. Beth Miller and I will be reading Maddie's Fridge, written by Lois Brandt and illustrated by Ben Vogel. When Sophia and Maddie played at the park, they stretched their toes to the sky. They climbed to the top of the ladder and flew off the end of the slide. They stayed until the buildings grew long shadows and even the taxis stopped honking. Let's play on the climbing wall, Maddie said. No way, Sophia said, I can't reach. Yes way, Maddie scooted up to the top of the wall. Your turn. Sophia put a foot on the bottom rock, grabbed with one hand and stretched, but she couldn't reach the next hold. Sophia's stomach growled. I give up, let's get a snack. No way, Maddie said, let's stay here. Yes way, Sophia ran to Maddie's building and raced up the stairs. Wait, Maddie ran after her. Maddie was the best climber, but Sophia was the fastest runner. Sophia swung open the door of Maddie's fridge. What have you got? We have milk, Maddie said. I'm saving it for Ryan, he's still little. Why doesn't your mom go to the store? Sophia asked. We don't have enough money. But what if you get hungry? We have some bread, Maddie said. I guess I'll go home to eat, Sophia said. Please don't tell anyone, Maddie said. Okay, promise? I promise. Sophia ran home past the bookstore and the grocery store. The sun went down behind the buildings and took all the colors with it. Good timing, Mom said. Dinner's almost ready. Louis was wrestling on the floor with Pepito. Sophia opened the refrigerator door. Pepito peeked inside. Sophia's fridge was full of milk and eggs and tortillas and cheese and lettuce and jam and salsa and tofu and even half a can of dog food. Here you go, Mom said. Sophia and Louis each had a plate of fish and rice. Mom had a plate of fish and rice. Even Pepito had his bowl of dog food with a little bit of fish and rice. Maddie and Ryan only had some bread and a small carton of milk. Sophia couldn't tell Mom. She had to keep her promise to Maddie. Not fish again, Lewis said. I want cheesy pizza bombs. Cheesy pizza bombs are a treat, Mom said. Fish is a good source of protein. Is fish good for kids, Sophia asked. Yes, Mom smiled. Fish is perfect for kids. That night, Sophia had an idea. Yuck, Maddie said the next day. Oh, Sophia said, double yuck. Fish may be good for kids, but fish is not good for backpacks. After school, Sophia and Maddie raced to the climbing wall. Sophia got there first, but Maddie scrambled past her to the top of the wall. Sophia stretched and stretched. Keep trying, Maddie said, you'll get it. I can't, Sophia jumped down. It is too high. That night, Sophia, Louis, and Mom ate frittata. Pepito had his dog food with a little bit of frittata. Maddie and Ryan still had an empty refrigerator. Sophia couldn't ask for help. That would break her promise. She had to try again. Are eggs good for kids, Sophia asked. Not as good as cheesy pizza bombs, Louis said. Cheesy pizza bombs are a treat. Mom said, eggs are good for you. After dinner, Sophia packed eggs for Maddie and Ryan. Yuck, Maddie said. Double yuck, Sophia said. Eggs may be good for kids, but eggs are not good for backpacks. Sophia and Maddie raced to the climbing wall. Sophia won again, but Maddie shot past her to the top of the wall. Sophia grabbed on one hold, reached for the next, and came down with a thump. That happens sometimes, Maddie called. This is impossible, Sophia said. 
Keep trying, Maddie said. You will get it. That night, Sophia, Louis, and Mom had burritos. Pepito had his dog food with a little bit of burrito and no salsa. Maddie and Ryan still had an empty fridge. Sophia wished she had, hadn't promised Maddie. Are burritos good for kids, Sophia asked. Burritos are very good for you, Mom said. Not as good as, Lewis started to say. You should pay attention to nutrition like your sister, Mom said. The next morning, Sophia put two burritos in her backpack along with tortillas, beans, cheese, and even some milk. Um, thanks, Maddie said. You haven't even looked, Sophia said. Is it fish, Maddie asked? No. Is it eggs? No. Is it gross? I don't know, Sophia said. Maddie shook the backpack, something sloshed. Let's look together, Maddie said. One, Two, three, go! Burritos are good for kids and backpacks too. Do you want some milk, Sophia asked. Thanks, Maddie said. I'll save the milk for Ryan. Sophia and Maddie raced to the climbing wall. Sophia won as usual and tried to climb. You can do it, Maddie said. Take my hand. Whoa, I made it to the top, Sophia shouted. We're the tallest kids in the park, Maddie said. Thanks for helping, Maddie. I couldn't do it alone. Maddie shrugged. That's what friends are for. After they finished playing, Sophia walked home past the bookstore and the grocery store. She thought and thought and thought. Her own fridge was full of milk and juice and chicken and yogurt and bread and carrots and even half a can of dog food. Maddie's fridge only had two tortillas, a cup of beans, a bit of cheese, and a little more milk than before. Sophia didn't want to break her promise, but she couldn't help Maddie alone, Sophia told. She hoped Maddie wouldn't be mad. I'm glad you told me, Mom said. Let's see what we can do together. They loaded grocery bags with milk, flour, chicken, carrots, sugar, oil, and even frozen meat and vegetables. Lewis pulled his package of cheesy pizza bombs out of the freezer. He thought, and he thought, and he thought some more. Then he put his cheesy pizza bombs in Maddie and Ryan's bag. For a treat, he said. At Maddie's apartment, the moms talked. Lewis and Ryan played. Sophia and Maddie ran to the park. You broke your promise, Maddie said. I'm sorry, Sophia said. Are you mad? A promise is important, Maddie said. You're important, Sophia said. I wanted you to have milk too. Maddie smiled. Are we still friends, Sophia asked. Always, Maddie said. Double always, Sophia said. Cheesy pizza bombs, you, Lewis yelled. Our moms made cheesy pizza bombs for a treat. Sophia and Maddie raced upstairs. Sophia slowed down so they could run together. That's what friends are for. What I liked about Maddie's fridge was that we weren't meant to do life as individuals. And there's times in our lives where we need each other. And that's okay, whether it's reaching the top of a rock climbing wall or achieving a different goal in life. We are better together and we need each other.